The vastness of our universe and the space surrounding us leaves scientists with countless questions. They are constantly attempting to delve further into the unknown expanse that stretches endlessly past our atmosphere and discover what lies beyond the realm of our understanding. But these discoveries do not always solve matters, as frequently they are so strange and mysterious that they only create more questions than they answer. And for better or for worse, it seems that there is no limit to the potential discoveries of our universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at mysterious discoveries that planetary scientists and astrophysicists have made in recent years, and what they might mean for those of us stuck here on planet Earth. The Mysterious Radio Signals from the M82 Galaxy For 10 years now, astronomers have been picking up mysterious radio signals from the M82 Galaxy. Located about 12 million light-years away, the Messier 82 is a starburst galaxy located in the Ursa Major constellation. This galaxy is five times more luminous than our Milky Way galaxy, and its centre is 100 times more luminous than our galaxy's centre. Receiving a radio signal from such a distant galaxy is quite mind-blowing. It opens up all kinds of possibilities. Researchers do not know anything about the object that is making these signals. The first signal from the M82 galaxy was received by the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia. Up until now, more than 20 signals have been discovered. As you would expect, this is one of the hottest topics in astronomy today. Some scientists have given the theory that these signals are coming from the high-energy pulsars that are being consumed by a black hole in the M82 galaxy. Another theory points towards the possibility of massive cosmic explosions. And then there is always a possibility, as per our own understanding, that an alien race might just be trying to contact us. The discovery of these mysterious radio signals from the M82 galaxy has given scientists a new hope about the possibility of an alien civilization. At the same time, it has also opened up a whole new mystery to be solved by researchers. Will we be able to see this mystery unfold during our lifetime? Only time will tell. Twenty Twenty CD3. An object known as 2020 CD3 was already acting as Earth's second moon for a time being. In fact, the moon had been orbiting Earth for at least a year when astronomers finally identified it in February 2020. To be fair, it was pretty hard to miss, as the space rock really is the miniest of mini moons. It is only about three feet or a little under a meter wide. Unfortunately, by early March 2020, the moon was flung out of our gravitational pull and began to orbit the sun instead. We waved goodbye to our little moon earlier than expected, as it was originally projected to leave in April of that same year. While 2020 CD3 had been orbiting for at least a year, it is possible that it actually had been in revolution for up to three years before we noticed it. 2020 CD3 now orbits the Sun every 379 days. Astronomers are unsure if the space rock is a miniature asteroid or perhaps a piece of our Moon that was broken off. While it was classified as a near-Earth object, it was not seen as a potentially hazardous object as simulations never indicated any chance of collision. Quite frankly, this object was always too small to be a threat regardless. Even if it did collide with the Earth, it would have been broken up in the atmosphere before touching ground. In March 2044, our former mini-moon will be close to Earth again, but not quite close enough to be pulled back into the orbit. The next time that it is likely that the space rock re-enters our orbit is not for a few thousand years. The reason Earth has trouble keeping a mini-moon is because the gravitational pull from other elements of our solar system, like the Moon and the Sun, are strong enough to make the circuits of these rocks unstable. But who knows, another chunk of Astro Rock might be out there waiting to be our next mini-moon. So whether these objects simply fly by or stay with us for a longer period of time, every interaction gets us excited about what is out there in the great expanse that is space. While we can't always trace these objects or predict what they will do and where they will go, the mysteries of space will continue to fascinate us for eons to come. 
Who knows when the next compelling discovery will come flying our way. Mars Monolith The discovery of the Mars Monolith came from the same stream of images taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter over a decade ago. The image of the monolith depicts a seemingly massive rectangular structure jutting out from the planet's surface. The monolith has had waves of attention since its discovery by the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Because of this, scientists regularly speak on the matter of the Mars monolith, as well as other similar structures found on Mars and elsewhere in the solar system. Jonathan Hill, a researcher and mission planner at the Mars Spaceflight Facility at Arizona State University, is tasked with processing a large chunk of NASA Mars mission imagery. Hill states that, in his opinion, the object is most likely a peculiar shaped rock. Speaking on the matter, Hill said, When your resolution is too low to fully resolve an object, it tends to look rectangular because the pixels in the image are squares. Any curve will look like a series of straight lines if you reduce your resolution enough. This would explain the seemingly large number of monoliths found in the solar system. This visual illusion is a side effect of our distance from things in outer space. The high-rise camera is able to take photographs at a resolution of one foot per pixel. While that might be useful for a large number of research purposes, it does mean that smaller objects can lose focus and detail. This also explains why the height of the monolith appears to be so large in the photos taken by NASA. The photo is taken during a time where the sun is at a low angle which effectively stretches the rock's shadow much further than other times of the day. This results in the monolith's height appearing much larger than it actually might be. To Hill, the location of the Mars monolith also suggests that it is nothing more than a boulder. He argues that it makes little sense for a being or beings to create such an object just to leave it in a location it would eventually fall. Speaking on the intentions of aliens, Hill says, if I was going to build a monolith somewhere, that's the last place I would put it. The debris falling from the cliff would cover it up pretty quickly on geologic timescales. Tun 618 Black Hole Located around 10 billion light-years away from us here on Earth lies Tun 618 Quasar, and at the centre of that is possibly one of the most massive supermassive black holes in existence. First noted during a survey of stars that ended up being mainly white dwarfs in 1957, the Tun 618 quasar wasn't officially recognised until 1963 when quasars themselves were first recognised as an occurrence of the universe. It was then in 1970, during a radio survey in Italy, that there was in fact a radio emission detected from the Tun 618 quasar. Known as very luminous, Tun 618 Quasar was identified as very distant because of its redshift but still visible, therefore being known as very luminous because this could still be observed from Earth despite it being 10 billion light years away. The Tun 618 Quasar is very luminous and the black hole swirling at its centre is estimated to be an astronomical 66 billion times more massive than that of our own Sun. It's no surprise that because of this, the Tun 618 supermassive black hole is one of, if not the, most massive black hole that we currently know of. What's mostly impressive about the TON 618 supermassive black hole is its mass. It's truly incomprehensible by us here on Earth because of how we would be comparing it to our own Sun. To us, our Sun is gigantic and massive, its true size completely dwarfing Earth. So to then try and picture something 66 billion times the Sun's mass is borderline impossible. Mars is humming. The InSight rover landed on Mars in November 2018, landing near the equator of the Red Planet. NASA's robot has been measuring the planet's seismic activity and conducting tests on its geographic qualities. Its mission is to understand and learn about the geology of rocky planets to observe their evolution and gain some more understanding about Earth's history and potential future. Scientists cannot get enough data on rocky planets just from Earth, they need to gather information from others. InSight landed in the Elysium Planitia, a small crater located on a volcanic plain. This location is often caught in wind and dust storms. 
The data it has gathered so far suggests that the seismic activity and magnetic field on Mars are much stronger than the researchers estimated, about 10 times more. While collecting data, the rover recorded a strange humming sound that researchers and experts have not been able to concretely identify the cause of. They have their speculations, though, and suggest it is caused by both seismic movement below the surface as well as the wind above it. When combined together, these two forces create a strange sound. The hum actually cannot be heard by humans. It falls outside our frequency range but gets picked up on readings by the robot and its machines. So, any future human visitors will not be able to hear Mars humming. The researchers are excited at finding so many similarities between Mars and Earth. The infrasound, sound we can't hear, and the atmospheric turbulence are encouraging to their studies on finding out Mars's history and seeing what its timeline looks like compared to ours. Interestingly enough, Earth also has a faint infrasound humming to it. There have been reports of a hum that have been a hot debate for many years, even outside the astronomy community. Scientists can't really explain it, but many people try to blame it for certain diseases and health issues. There have been many locations across Earth that have complained of some sort of noise pollution and mysterious humming sounds. Now, InSight has identified a similar one on Mars. The robot was using a seismometer to measure the quakes underneath the planet. Since its first reading, it has measured over 400 quakes. It even managed to find fault lines on Mars, which confirms the constant seismic activity found. A few of the quakes have registered at 3 to 4 magnitudes, but most of them were so small that the machines and scientists were unable to detect their origin. Researchers also found that there are more quakes on Mars when the planet gets cold. When it cools down, it contracts, which forces the brittle layers near the surface to break in a way to accommodate their positioning. This breaking is causing stress on the surface that results in quakes. There are still many mysteries that the InSight researchers are excited about delving into, like how they recorded some type of activity at Mars's depth. They believe there might even be hot magma still at its core. They will continue to measure the activity and gather as much knowledge about Mars's geological history as possible. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.